Hello everybody and welcome to part 20 of our practical flash tutorial video series. In this video we're going to be talking about the login required decorator. So the first page that might require a login is a logout page. How can you log out if you are not logged in? So that's what we're going to cover here. So first of all, how, what is that and, and how do we actually even make, uh, let's say, a login required decorator? What is a decorator? Okay. So a decorator is basically this, like this at sign is what notifies Python about, or yeah, Python about a decorator, okay? Now, what is a decorator? Now a decorator is a wrapper around a function generally. So what's a wrapper? Okay, well a wrapper is like, um, like you have Python wrappers around C and Python wrappers around Java applications. It's basically something that, it's really hard to describe, I suppose, but it's it's a lot like including a function in a function. So for example, uh, let's make our login required. Okay, so we're gonna define login required and it will inherit from, or the parameter rather, is gonna be f for, and f is just for function. And then it's going to at wraps whatever is f, okay? So uh, what we'll do now is we'll come down and we'll define uh, wrap and wrap will have args and quargs and that's fine we don't really need to add too much to that and then basically we ask the question if if logged in in session return f along with the args and possible quargs. And then else, we want to flash. You need to log in first. And then, since we're, this page requires the user to be logged in first, we'll go ahead and return uh, the redirect for the URL for the login page, okay? So what's happening is this is going to be a wrapper. What's it going to wrap? It's gonna wrap the F or the function that it follows after it. And then we're gonna define the wrap that's actually occurring. What is that wrap? It is basically going to ask if logged in, uh, so if the user is logged in, so if logged in in session means if the user is logged in, what do we wanna do? We wanna return F along with all the args and quargs. So, and that's arguments and keyword arguments, by the way. Return F, what is F? It's the function we're wrapping. So if we are logged, so this is basically, it's a, it's a login required decorator. So what it's going to do is it will run, it, it wraps the function, the decorator will run first, and it's going to ask if logged in, we're going to uh, return whatever the function is that we're wrapping. Otherwise, you need to log in first. Now, of course, in the on the login page, you could have an if statement, and you could just ask if logged in do something else. Uh, whoops, <laughs> else return this flash. You, you know, you need to log in first. But you're going to see this login required decorator, and it's best you know how it works. So now we have this login required decorator. It exists, great. Now what we need to do is actually uh, have a page that needs it. So we're gonna have um, a new page now that is going to be a logout. So it'll be at app.root. The root will be logout. Again, this, this is a wrapper as well. These are wrappers around the function, okay? So, you can almost see it as like the extends template, right? Where we have a header and then the thing that extends, okay, the wrapper just goes around it. Uh, so anyways, at app root uh, is, the root is gonna be logout. We don't really need any other parameters. Define logout. Logout will have session.pop, and actually we can just probably get away with session.clear. Flash, <clears throat> you have been logged out, and then, uh, whoops, and then we'll run gc.collect, and then we'll return the we'll return redirect, and then the URL for 
Uh, and on this one, if the user logs out, let's send them to the main page. I trying to find it. Where is our main page? Home page. So we we are going to redirect them to home page when they log out. Now to log out, you should have a login required um, decorator to it. So first, let's just test the logout and test all this other stuff. Then we'll add that uh, to it. Make sure everything else is working. So at least the website works. We don't have a path to log out, so we'll just hand type log log out, enter, and it did at least log out. We didn't get a flash, but we might actually not be passing a flash to this page. Uh, I can't remember if we actually are passing flash to it anyways. Uh, so uh, let's see, login required login. Flash. You sh it should be there though. Let's do redirect for the dashboard though, just to test. I have so many of these open. My goodness. Yeah, so the flash was just never displayed. I actually didn't even need to go to dashboard to find that one out. Uh, so anyways, we are logged out, and, and now, so now that we're logged out, uh, we need to have a login decorator to re, or we don't want to be able to re-log out. That doesn't make any sense. So now, to add a login required, you can do at login required. Okay, and then now, what that's going to do is um, basically stop it from stop you from being able to use it if you're not logged in. So, and you'll get the flashed message that we sent. So. Let's go refresh this. Uh, hold on. Okay, so that. Okay, the wrap. Okay, so this wrapper needs to come first because it's a path. So this cannot wrap around this. Okay, what actually needs to happen is because there's basically no path to log out. Um, but anyway, so app.root logout, then login required, then the function for logout. That was probably our error. Let's try again. Nope, still getting an error to dashboard. Let's go ahead and python init.py wraps not defined. So we need wraps, and that's going to come from func tools, I believe. Uh, Yes. So let's go up to the very, very top. Uh, we're going to, from funk tools, we're going to import wraps. Turn self endpoint. If endpoint find login required. Let's come back here at login required. I see. Okay. Uh, what we forgot here is okay, so define login required F. We define the function of wrap, but we're not actually doing anything. We've just defined it. So now we need to go ahead and return wrap. Let's save that. Let's restart Apache. Let's pull up this. Okay. Now let's try to visit log out. And it says, sure enough, we're not logged in yet. It says you need to log in first. Let's go ahead and log in to anything. If you if you don't remember any login, just like register real quick and then and try that. Anyway, so now we're logged in. I don't need to save this password. And then now if I head to log out, that works. I'm sent back to the dashboard after having logged out. Uh, normally I would send to the, the main page, but apparently we're not displaying flashes there. And that's it. So now we can um, have a log out and also showing you guys this login required decorator. Now, of course, you don't actually have to have it be a login at all, right? You could also say uh, admin required. And then when you define your wrapper, it would be if admin in session, uh, and then otherwise, you know, return whatever. Now, I will just say you might want to be re 
careful as far as modifying or you know using session too much. You might want to actually incorporate your own encryption with session. Uh, probably won't get into that now, but you want to make sure someone can't just come in and, and modify their own session, especially if you've got either really sensitive data for user accounts. Basically, every time someone like accesses, say, some user info, like like a security page, there should always be a log, a second login, like. You know, even if they were already logged in, if they want to say change their password, you should require them to enter their old password first. Uh, and then, like, if for changing any account information, same thing, or to view any sensitive information, same thing. Uh, because people can, because session is just a cookie. People can fake cookies and all that kind of stuff. And again, just like I'm not an expert in encryption, uh, I'm not an expert in cookies or anything like that. So just keep that in mind uh, that. While this works for basic stuff, you actually might not want to use it for like an admin or something like that. Or if you did, you would want to have something a little more advanced than just plain text admin in there. But anyways, um, that's that. That's login required. As far as just requiring the user to just be logged in, this is secure enough because all we're doing, all we care about is if the user's logged in. We're not really asking if they're an admin or even a subscriber for that matter. But that is how you could use wrappers to protect views on uh, in Flask. So anyways, that's that. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.